Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I am your host, Chris Shanfell, and I am now joined by 2014 NFL Draft Prospect, tight end out of Tennessee State, AC, AC Leonard. Thanks for joining the show, AC. How's it going, man? Hey, it's a pleasure. Now, now I, I, I stumbled right there uh, when I said your name because I almost called you AC Slater from uh, Saved by the Bell. You ever get that? <laughs> All right, well, AC, coming out of high school, you were a four-star prospect and was the fifth uh, best tight end according to Rivals.com, and you actually decided to attend the University of Florida over schools like Alabama, Miami, and Nebraska. At the time, why did you feel that Florida was the best fit for you? Um, I, felt, I felt pretty good with the coaches coming out of high school. Like, we put in a relationship, and our relationship just grew over the years. And I felt like it was the best fit for me, like right? being close to home. I just had a son, and I liked I liked the new coaches, and I liked the like the scheme they were trying to go with. So I felt like it was a good fit. Uh, now, you were able to play right away, recording eight receptions for 99 yards as a true freshman. Now, before committing to Florida, did you know that you would be uh, given the opportunity to play as a true freshman and uh, kind of make an impact on the team right away, or was that just how things worked out? Um, it was just pretty much how things worked out. I mean, I went in early. I, I went to school in January, and I was part every day in the room on the field. And I just, I just took advantage of my opportunities when they came up. You only spent one year at Florida before you transferred to Tennessee State. Uh, do you mind if I ask why was that? Um, yeah, I got in a little bit of trouble on my freshman year, um, and I felt like it was a, it was best. Me and the coach thought it was best for me to get a new start and start over. So I made I made a decision to transfer to Tennessee State. And, and I got to ask you, how did Tennessee State win you over, man? What was it about their school and their football team that made you want to join them? Because I can't think that they're the only team or, or only college that was interested in you. Uh, you know, obviously, I, wanted, I didn't want to sit out in the year. I had been working hard the whole offseason. So I wanted to go somewhere I can play. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I decided to transfer, they, they was the first school that started calling me. They called me every day. I was just talking to the coaches. And I, I seen that the coaches were very genuine. And I went on a visit, and that was everything they told me it was, it was true. And it seems like. Go. It certainly seems like you made the right decision. During your first season at uh, Tennessee State, you were second on the team in receptions uh, and first on the team with 733 receiving yards and uh, six touchdowns. Uh, AC, did you expect to have, you know, again, this is kind of like the same question I asked you about Florida. Did you, did you expect to have as, uh, as much of an impact that you did on this Tennessee State Tigers football team, at, you know, like as early as you had this success, though? And like I said, you had over 50 receptions, which was second on the team, and 733 receiving yards and six touchdowns. Now, after that successful first season at Tennessee State, uh, what, what were your ex- expectations entering your second year there, and uh, which, of course, was just this past season? Yeah, I want I want to just like have a better year than I had a year before. To put up more numbers, and like, like, like my first year was like our first like winning record at TSU in a while. So I want to also want to improve our record and also to take our team to the playoffs, which we did. Man, I had a chance to go to the second round, and that was a great experience. <laughs> Now, as a tight end, now you know the stat. The stat line shows that you could you could certainly catch the football. Uh, but what about your blocking? Do you have confidence in your blocking game? Yeah, I do. I mean, I feel like blocking is a want to. Mm-hmm. I mean, coming out of high school, I wasn't really a great blocker. But once I got to Florida, I started working on that, working on my steps, and just working on like reading defenses and knowing who to block. And then, like over the years, I just continued to get better. Like after practice, I work on my steps. And just like doing practice, so I just go hard every play, so I just become a better blocker. And I'm still working on it as we speak. And how important is it for a tight end to not only know how to catch a football, but, you know, know how to block, do their job? I mean, it's very important because as, as, as a tight end, that's your job to be able to scratch the field and to be able to block down like a tackle. So, I mean, it's very important. It's very important. Uh, I feel like um, part of being a complete tight end, you have to be able to do both. Catch, catch balls and be able to block. 
You're absolutely right about that one. And AC, this past season, you put up 34 receptions, 401 yards, and six touchdowns. Now, you just finished your junior year. Why do you feel that this was the year for you to come out and enter the NFL draft and uh, not next year? Um, I feel like I, I talked to my family and my coaches, and we felt like it was the best It was the best thing for me. Um, obviously, I knew if I would have came back, I could have had a better year. But I feel like this year, like, it was it was the right time. Like, a lot of tight ends was coming out. It's like my type of tight ends. Mm -hmm. I knew if I had, if I just go and work, I had a chance to get drafted. So I made a decision to come out. Now, now, throughout the ups and downs of your college uh, career d during your time at Florida and Tennessee State, how would you describe your overall college experience? Um, it, was, it was a great experience. I mean, you know, going from Florida, it's not like playing in front of 90,000. But, I mean, going to Tennessee State, it really made me a better man. Mm -hmm. It really made me appreciative of everything. I mean, it just it, it gave me a chance to grow up. I mean, it was great. I had a great college career. Chris Shanfeld talking with 2014 NFL Draft Prospect, tight end out of Tennessee State University, A.C. Leonard. And as I mentioned, uh, you, you, you've been playing at Tennessee State for two years now, but during that time, is there one game that sticks out to you more than others? And if so, can you tell us more about that? Um, yeah, I mean, all, every game was a good game, but I have to say like, a, a memory game, I would say Tennessee State for my players here. I mean, he was down in the fourth quarter, like right, going to the last, All right, now I have a feeling that's going to be uh, the, the same answer to this next question right here. Uh, what What do you think has been the biggest and most memorable play of your college football career? Is it that uh, game winner? No, it's actually um, last year we played Arkansas Prime Bluff for homecoming. And I, I jumped over to dude, and I was, I was pretty good. Like, I never did that. <laughs> so, so, so it looked like you were kind of uh, trying to show off your basketball skills, huh? Now, I, I know it's not guaranteed. You still have a lot of work to do, just like every other NFL draft prospect. But uh, when did you find out that the NFL might not just be a dream, but it could become a reality? Um, honestly, like, going into my college, my college career, I knew I wanted to make, to make go, go three and out and have a chance to go. And then, like, at the end of last year, I started getting calls from my agent and, like, a couple of scouting dudes, like, just emailing me and stuff. And I really started to see that like, it was it was real, like it was it was time. So I mean, I just started working harder, and then I mean, now I'm in a position to provide for my family and, and set myself up for a great life. Let's say there's an NFL general ma manager uh, out there listening to this very interview. Why should he want AC Leonard, tennis uh, tight end out of Tennessee State University, on his team? If you would compare yourself to a tight end currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that would be and why? Um, I don't like to compare myself to nobody, but if I had to say somebody else, I kind of make my game more Vernon Davis. Like, I like to spread out wide. Like play as a receiver, I can come down and block if you need me to. Um, so if I had to compare myself to somebody, I would be, I would be the guy. Who's faster, A.C. Leonard or Vernon Davis? <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it, man. Now, uh, AC, do you have a set day for your pro day? And, uh, you know, if so, if not, what, what are your goals for your pro day? Um, yeah, I have a pro day set for March 20th. Um, I want to put up some great numbers. I want to at least do at least 35, 35 up from the from 225. I want to at least run the 445. That's, that's what I'm aiming at right now. All right, man. Now, I love your confidence, and I, I, I got to think you thought about this already, but uh, ha have you even put the thought that the next time you suit up for a, a football game that it'll be for an NFL team? Yeah, I mean, I have. I think about it every day. I mean, I can't wait for the opportunity. Yeah. And whatever team, whatever team, definitely going to have a great dude and a great player. Now, I, I, I remember you said, you know, you, you've gotten emails from scouts and, and stuff like that. What, what are scouts saying to you? Um, they're just telling me, like, just to just keep working, really. Mm -hmm. And then they come by, and then my party is really going to be, like, some big days for me. And that's my chance to, like, prove to everybody that I can play. And, like, get with, get with some of the, like, general managers and stuff, and just interview, and just talk, and just let them know who AC Leonard is. 
And, and how excited are you for your pro day, for the NFL Combine, for the NFL Draft? How excited are you for all this stuff to take place? I got to think it's like a dream come true. Hey, that sounds great, man. That 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 speaks that speaks a lot right there, AC. Uh, I'm really wishing you nothing but the best. I sure hope we could keep in touch. And uh, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to myself and our listeners? Well, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to bring me into your show. Um, I look forward to talking to you more. And just want to tell the world to look out for a few minutes. Hey, sounds good, man. I'll start spreading the word right now. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, take care, man.